Hi greetings, welcome back. Today will probably be our last lesson on trigonometry and it is a subtopic that goes generally under the radar. It is known as the trigonometric functions in a Cartesian plane. Remember this is very simple so learners tend not to study it just before the exams. Keep in mind with the majority of question papers of grade 10 has this um, type of questions. One mark, two marks, very very simple. Okay. So firstly, I have Cartesian plane, x-axis, y-axis over here. Over here is my angle and I have an, an arm over here. That arm is known as my terminal arm. Okay, once I get that, the first thing I do is from my point over here, always bring a dotted line from my point towards my x-axis now making it a right angle triangle and when I'm busy with right angle triangles trigonometry plays a huge role so first let's focus on our dimensions so over here would be your radius r or hypotenuse from this angle this would be your opposite over here this would be your adjacent from that particular angle the first thing is I have negative 12 so negative 12 would be on the negative side negative 12 and 5 would be your opposite which is 5 uh, do I remember it because it's on the side negative 12 and because it goes up your um, y value is equal to 5 so the first thing I need to calculate what is that r value over there or my hypotenuse and I calculate that using the theorem of Pythagoras so OP the length of OP squared is equal to 5 squared plus negative 12 squared and I'm just going to go straight to the answer because by now you should know how to do trigonometry and that answer is going to be equal to 13 so what do I have already I have x or rather let's just say O which is equal to 5 a which is equal to negative 12 and then I have also H is my hypotenuse and that is going to be equal to 13 now if I were to ask you sine of that angle cos of that angle and tan of that angle you should know how to use your soccer table again first thing I write it down soccer table never enter an exam without this over here so firstly sine theta Remember, I'm just looking for the ratios. Over here, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and that is 5 over 13. If I were to ask you, what is cos of theta? Cos of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. What's my adjacent? Negative 12. What is my uh, radius or my hypotenuse? That is equal to 13. If I were to ask you at number 3 over here, what is tan of theta? Tan is equal to what? Tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. And my opposite is equal to 5. And my adjacent is equal to negative 12. Okay, I'm only going to do one example and we're going to stop for this. Remember, all the examples are more or less very similar. Thank you so much for watching. Please before you enter your examinations make sure that you study real hard for your trigonometry and until next time please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel at ga online teaching until next time